I do have to get some more jump shots too. Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty. Season 5 is dropped and with it two new weapons. We have the Static HV and the Stig 44. One's a SMG, one is an assault rifle that we're all familiar with. So let's take a look at it and see what it takes to rank this thing up. The Shapely Print Camo and 50 Operator Kills after you get to level 3. The Garden of Eyes Camo, you have to get it to level 8, 25 hip fire kills dovetails nicely with the weekly challenges. The cacophonous collision, very loud collision I guess is what that means, and 10 while counting the hairs on your toes, crouching. Then finally the no-fly zone, something grandpa used to enforce over a rock, and also over Kosovo, Yugoslavia too. Level 17 and 10 kills on stunned or blinded enemies. In other words, you get to die a lot getting this one done. Once you get to that, you can go for the gilded camo and that's two gax without releasing the trigger 10 times 15 operator kills while ADS with full attachments for the forged the priceless two operator kills in one life shortly after sprinting 10 times so those forged and priceless are very very easy of course when you have priceless you get interstellar now just as a kind of side note take a look at the complete 36 forged camo challenges before you go priceless. They still haven't fixed this bug. I've completed 56 weapons all the way to interstellar, but it shows for forge 56 out of 36 no check mark. All right, so let's take a look and see what this beast does. Now for headshot damage, it's a 46, 39 for upper torso, 36 and 33 for the lower torso and the legs. The, the effective damage range is a short 7.6 meters, but it seemed a lot longer than that to me. Minimum damage range 35.6 meters and the rate of fire is 821.9 rounds per minute. So they're coming out pretty quickly. If we look at the recoil and these numbers are from the composite attachments that I added. A lot of kick. 75.16 degrees per second in the kick. Vertical recoil almost 66 degrees per second but very little horizontal recoil. In fact let's take a look at it in the shooting range now. Okay, first hip fire without controlling the recoil goes straight up to the ceiling and beyond. To infinity and beyond. Okay, and aiming down sight. Same thing about the same amplitude. So this is the first weapon that shows the same amplitude of recoil whether I'm hip firing or aiming down sight. So I suspect this will be entirely controllable, so I loaded it up because I wanted this to be a fast weapon. Back to the numbers. Mobility. Movement speed, kind of an average 5.7 meters per second. Same with crouch movement speed, but sprint speed, 6.1 meters per second with a 7.6 meters per second tactical. Look at the ADS movement speed with these attachments, 4.3 meters per second. That'll really help out with the camos. ADS speed is a quick 110 milliseconds and sprint to fire we got it down to 54 milliseconds. We're going to be out drawing the pistols. Shadow strike suppressor because I had extra slots it keeps me off the map. No downsides. The auger 840 light barrel and that helped with the mobility and handling and some with the accuracy at the cost of recoil. The no stock attachment and grandpa's fallen in love with these attachments. It piles on on the recoil but the recoil goes straight up accuracy hip fire max 22 percent better a little wimpy on the flinch resistance there but the tactical stance is two degrees per second which is again is going to help us out with the challenges but it piles on the mobility 28 percent ads speed for handling and sprint to fire speed it decreases it by 22 percent so let's take this brand new weapon the static hv onto the field of honor see how it did for grandpa see what it did grandpa's friendly enemies we've got it up to interstellar and i'll show you one of the games after that let's go all right, let's get into it with a static HV and kill confirmed. Now you can see I've already got it to Interstellar, and it was a fairly easy drive to do that. We got guys that are kind of posing there. I think we got a team of statues and then somebody gacks Grandpa. 
forces him to buy the farm. If I could describe how this gun feels or what it reminds me of, the mini back. Except the mini back's got range. This gun does not have any range. That's a dog fight. That should be but it. But the effective damage more. range is just less than 8 meters. But it's more than 30 meters for the minimum damage range. And you can see that there's recoil was very easily controllable there. A few jump shots. And there's the strafe. We have this built for a very fast strafe. Very hard to keep up with if you could see from the enemy's point of view, we'd be bouncing side to side. Now, it puts out bullets pretty quickly at over 800 rounds a minute. And it packs a punch. Upper torso and head, that's where I'm aiming. Recoil should help, but really, the recoil is not taking any effect. Of course, not a lot you can do when you get shot in the back. See if there's somewhere to put this thing up here. Grandpa usually gets gacked when I'm putting out the turret. Oop, oop, there it is right there, and it stayed up there. So we'll throw out the cluster mine as kind of a welcome mat for people that try to annoy Grandpa's turret. And then a trophy system to try to protect it a little more. Go my mosquito child, do some work. And it looks like it, well, it didn't get the double kill. Combination mosquito and cluster mine. You can see that the strafe is hard to keep up with. That average terrorist there, couldn't do it, but the canary canary man far away so that's where that 7.6 meters of effective damage range comes into play now there wasn't a, a lot of recoil to manage you saw the shot went straight just like it went straight there but I wasn't doing a lot of damage halfway across the world there we got a few shots in the head. That's where the money. That's where the money's made. We're not talking counterfeiting. We're talking bullet hitting. On your six. All right. On shoot house, I just like to keep moving. There's a jump oh. shot. I thought he was dead. Grandpa needed to pull the trigger one more time. There's the average terrorist. Nothing special about average terrorists. They just wear a back balaclava. As opposed to a baklava. I used to get those two words convinced. Somebody asked for a balaclava and I brought them a Greek pastry. Oh, wait, we're losing? Felt pretty stupid. Now, that's at range. That's at least 25, maybe 30 meters there. So, still shoot straight. If you can get enough bullets out of it, you can get bullets onto the target. With this no stop, huge recoil according to the statistics, but Grandpa seems to think the statistics do not follow the weapon onto the field of honor. Playing peekaboo there. Nobody on the enemy team wants to play. Did a belly flop. Not good. And I can see the UAV up there. That guy wasn't on it. At least I didn't see him on it. Let's put it that way. Man, somebody shooting white dust at Grandpa. That's not going to do a whole lot to injure him. Oh, there, holy Ooh, there's crap. the white dust, man. I guess it does injure you. I know why anybody would use that kind of ammo. Because... Back in the back in my flying days, we didn't like engines that smoked, even though we had smoker engines on the Phantom. They 
change them out with the clean burning engines. Oh. And the reason being is the smoke oh. leads the enemy this right to where you good. are. And that bullet shot oh, leads the enemy right where, or leads us to right where the enemy is. Grandpa's a bit befuddled there, but he does pull the trigger and gack somebody. Well, actually, that was get the tags, mosquito boys. drone. But you can let him think. Where, let me think that I did gag somebody with my weapon. It makes me feel better. So this weapon's solid. It it just really is solid. In fact, I was using a different weapon on the new shipment map, trying to make some content with it, and it just wasn't working out for me. So I switched to the static HV, and I absolutely slayed those guys. And I have to say... Um, the lobbies have been full of steroid users lately. I don't know what it is. At least two every lobby, and that's on the enemy team. No telling how many on mine. But Grandpa just continues to so play. Can flip the spawn. They can run fast. They can snap onto my head, and I still have an even chance of gacking them. Like that person there jumping over my head. Come on, what was that? Actually, that was a good play. I'm not accusing that person of steroid abuse at all so we have another turret it's a very close game Final minute. it's like the cluster mines doing some work we're just going to put that baby right there and by the farm hopefully that's arable land i can grow some rutabagas there my mom used to call him rutabaker that's what i thought it was Pick up the tags. So don't be afraid of the high recoil on the on the statistics. I think it's there to scare away the faint of heart. Either that or the smart people. Because look at that. I mean, I, I held the trigger down the whole time. I was shooting at two or three different people. And it flat out went straight as an arrow. Okay, we just have about 10 seconds left on this map. Looks like we're going to win it. Grandpa's going to scamper for the last couple of tags. Yeah, I, th this gun is a keeper. It's a winner. They gave us something decent. Limited at the range. It would be overpowered. So let me hear your comments on the weapon, those of you who have tried it. It's worthwhile. Okay. I did this before the Stig. I liked this one. It was more fun to me than the Stig, and that will be coming out tomorrow. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Give me your comments on the weapon. Did well for Grandpa every game I played and during the upgrade. Cheers. Oh. Peace to you. And let's have fun in Season 5.